Okay, so I have a really tiny haul bit, but I was cleaning my desk and I figured I would show you. So the first thing I have here are two pin sets from Liz Harry. I have hauled their pin sets previously and I just think they are so cute. I ordered like a Kickstarter before I think I showed. So this is a set that is called Tickled Pink. And it's funny because whenever I had hauled the product prior, I had went on Etsy and was looking at the different items they had. And I really loved like all three of these original pins. And I was like, I don't know, like I'm gonna see whenever they release something next and see kind of like, like add those to the cart then. And then I saw that they came out with this and I was like, well sold. And I will be sending one of these actually to Kittenish Jess because I feel like these are definitely a vibe that we both share. And I just thought these were so cute, especially because like pink and gold, like, well, I get, I mean, purple probably better for her, but I think she likes pink, so it's cute. Um, then there's also 10% off code, which I did use in that order because I also got one um, in the Kickstarter, which had this kind of stuff in it. So I did also get this postcard a lot. Well, I guess they're not, are they postcards? They're just little journaling cards, just super cute. Um, and then there was also two stickers in there, which I just thought these were so cute. Came in a cute little like branded box and I was like super thrilled with the package. Then I have a Sadie's stickers order. I actually just cleaned all of my stickers, organized, reorganized every single sticker and I'm so excited. So these will, I just feel like, didn't I just order these like a couple of days ago? Like maybe? I feel like I literally just ordered these like two days ago. Am I going crazy? Or maybe it was last week. Honestly, the weeks are they're going together. So I'm going to be putting these with my winter items and I'm so excited because they have a place. So we got some full box overlays and I love the snowflakes. I'm super excited to use them with my snowflake wiggle. I just think it's going to be really, really pretty. So these are like corners in the boxes. And then there was some, um, oh, did I accidentally order rose gold? I might have ordered all of them. So little tiny decos, which are super cute. And then the boxes in silver and gold. Honestly, I don't remember what I ordered. I don't remember, but these are super cute. And then the labely bits in all of the cute foils. So these are perfect to bring into those spreads. And then also some little date numbers. So that is my little order from Sadie Stickers. And that is all for this little bit. Okay, so I have another haul bit. I feel like I'm never going to know like in the haul like what the beginning of the end is. Because I've just been like filming haul bits and like hoping for the best. So I believe I've ordered from all of these shops before I have. So let me go ahead and go through them in no particular order. Sorry if you guys can hear the heat on the background. We actually put the heat on for the first time. It is like November 22nd or something. I don't know. Um, but it's cold in Texas right now. So I am super excited because this is an on loop order. And I this is all I actually I've gotten in like a week's worth of Happy Meal, which might seem like a lot, but I feel like is minimal for me if you watch my hauls. So I have this kit here and it is called Lo-Fi and it's super cute. I actually didn't, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like this collection at first. I was like, I mean, it's like cute. It'd be, I think it'd be cute as like dashboards. But I was like, you know, this kind of actually gives me like when I'm sad vibes. Like if I ever am like sad, I think I'm gonna use this kit. So <laughs> there's that, hopefully. I don't have to use it then but I think it's kind of cute for that and I really liked these like date covers and like I don't know it definitely just gives me like early 90s vibes and I like it so yeah I definitely warmed up to it after kind of looking at it for a while and I also think the colors in person are a little prettier than the like listing photos then I also did pick up these which are the like sheets they're smaller but I honestly thought like maybe we could even go like a little smaller than this so these are like the small version of the vinyls and they still are on the like vinyl paper well it's actually paper and then I saw on Instagram they like overlay like a matte laminate on top of the paper to make it like a vinyl sticker anyways um but these were like the small versions I honestly don't I think they're definitely smaller but I feel like maybe like they were like this before and now they're like this but I would love to have these as like character size stickers but I definitely like anything Animal Crossing I will pick up despite not having played Animal Crossing probably right now in like 
forever. But speaking of Animal Crossing, I did go ahead and pick up like basically all of the vinyls that were released that were new Animal Crossing ones. So you have new, uh, you have the Blathers Museum General Admission ticket. There's the Audi little um, record, meringue, little biscuit sticks, the little jam. I actually don't know. This is Apple. I don't know. Is it Fiona? I don't know. And you have Sherb, a little Sherbert, Maple, who's like so literally basic, Coco, Dom, I love Dom, he's so cute, and then Marshall, um, you have the stock market with Daisy May, and then you have Blathers Guide to Fossil. So I went and picked all of those up. Honestly, like I always say, I have a vinyl problem, but can't stop on stop, y'all know. Um, I also placed an order with, okay, I was just making sure you can't see my address. I placed an order with See Me Draw because she had a ghosty Malone. I think that's what she called it. Or is it just ghosty? Yeah, it's ghosty Malone um, release. So how did it do that? Obviously, because you guys know I have like a, a, like a big love for Post Malone. I just think he's like ugh, so attractive. I don't think I ever mentioned this, but I'm like very attractive to attracted to personalities not really looks I do think he's really cute but like I'm very attracted to personalities and from what I've seen I like him he's so cute anyway so here's the freebie and then I also got the little card here with a little like Mickey mug thing I'm actually like if y'all ever see anywhere that like ghost Mickey mug like on eBay Mercari wherever let me know because I've been hunting for it forever also, if you ever see the wire, gold wire fruit basket, I've also been looking that for that for forever. And little ghosts, and I think these are all probably, yeah, stickers. So those were all freebies, I believe. And then I also did pick up oh, so much. The, okay, I don't know what I picked up. Are these just like, I think some of these are, yeah, I picked up four of the vinyls. Like these are going in literally every planner I ever have. And I'm like, is four enough? Probably not. And then also the hollow, I don't know if you're able to see it, hollow overlay, and then also just the regular die cut. These are also stickers, but just like smaller and not like proof. Oh, I could put that on like a water bottle. Oh, or on a planner or on my phone. And then also the little charm. And then I also picked up the stickers. So I picked up two of the, um, the little ghosties. They're so cute. And then, I don't know what else I got. Oh, that's cute. Very cute little Baymax. And then this, I think, is just like a samplers from different shops. Maybe there was a sale. Yeah, UPS sale. I think every time I saw that, I was like, UPS? Like, the shipping service? But anyways, I think it's the Ultimate Planner sale or something like that. So this is made with Southern Love. Oh, it says it down here bigger. Uh, made with Southern Love, Mini Riot Co., um, shop with a nice, or a neat, I think it'd be like a nice, I don't know, Pancake Bunny Co., Lulu Daisies and Co., for ever changing plans, Stickies by CNS, Lily and Miko Designs, Little Spark Design, Miha Land by Me Meharan, I'm sorry, Sugar, Lemon, and Sterling Ink. So those are just some little extra freebies that were in the order. I have a little order from Simply Watercolor Co. I also think that Jennifer threw in some extras in here when I was looking, but she had like a magical Christmas release. So y'all know I had to participate. It was like a $2 Tuesday or something like that, or Simply Foiled Tuesday, because I don't think they're $2, but full boxes. I got that in gold and silver and hollow. This one in gold and silver and hollow. And then there are some icons. I don't remember if I ordered what I ordered. Maybe I ordered the icons and then she threw in the rest. But these are super cute. And then all those were on all three foils. And then there's gold Mickey dividers, gold Mickey washi tapes, this really cute little like coffee and deco in gold. This has just little bits that you can kind of sprinkle wherever in gold. Brooms in gold, little witchy stuff in gold, and then little um, like witchy bookshelves in gold. So that's everything from Simply Watercolor Co. I will leave all of these shops linked down below, of course. And then the last like planner related thing I have is from Lauren at Rose Colored Days. So she was releasing more of her Lux sticky notes. I don't think I actually got them the first time. I feel like I just wasn't quick enough. And I wasn't even quick enough on this one little um, card, but there was a, like, it was limited this time. So I feel like everybody had a little bit more of a shot. I don't know if it was limited the first time. 
Um, but I definitely didn't log on at like whatever time they released because it's just like not, you know, it doesn't happen for me half the time. And half the time I set alarms and then I, like when the alarm goes off, I'm like, what the heck is this alarm for? Um, this is a little freebie. It's in rose gold, I think, or like a copper, like a matte copper or matte rose gold. I don't know. Um, full box and header overlays. It's impossible to focus in the clear. And then I also, oh, I also, I got the, like I said, the Lux sticky notes. So this is a collab, I believe with Annie. I'm not sure. Um, but I did get the gold and is this hollow or silver? Maybe hollow. I think it's hollow, golden, hollow. And I did get like the gray, the blue, and then the pink. They didn't have the gold. Well, Lauren didn't have the gold in the pink square. So I decided to get one of these, which I actually feel like that would actually go really well in my pocket. So I should have just gotten all these, but like whatever. I'm set for sticky notes for a while. I have to test my pens and see if they work on these. Actually, let me do that now because I always use the same pen and if I they don't I'm, I'll just use them for something else because like I can always use more sticky notes it smudges but I wonder if I would let it dry for like one like extra second because you know who's really sitting here like writing and then being like on their thing now nah, it still smudges. I'll find a pen or I'll find a different use for them. If you guys know any pens that work on these, let me know in the comments down below because I will make exceptions and use different pens for Lauren stuff because it's so cute. And then last but not least, again, this is not from a planner related shop, but I have ordered from them before and it's brand Elaine. I feel like they've definitely like upped some of their stuff. I don't remember this being like so cute before. I did get some of the vinyls, I think pretty sure so I got the dancing headless ghosts which I thought were really cute so like haunted mansion the pumpkin spice and everything nice masketeer club and then there's this one here which just kind of looks like a vintagey looking like Disney lover and then also this one is like 2020 twilight zone I don't know like maybe there was just like a buy all option I don't remember tbh I think actually I think that this one was sold out by itself so I had to buy them all so whatever I don't care it also came with a little card it came with a little freebie sticker sheet which I know comes with I think all orders because I've ordered a bunch of times and then I also did get the headless ghost little t-shirt which i think is so cute and gonna be perfect for whenever i go to disney next in 100 years but so anyways that is everything in this haul bit hey guys it's andrea and today i'm coming at you with a haul bit i have a lot of stuff to show you guys and something that i'm going to test at the end but let's go ahead and get into there's actually not a lot. I feel like this is like a week's worth of mail too. So I do have some vinyls from Wish Upon Magic, which you guys knew probably was coming. They've been coming out with so many cool ones, especially like Christmas holiday ones. So usually what I do is, is I just like load my cart as they come out. And then whenever I check out, let's say from like another shop, I'll just check out from like all of them because their shipping is free besides on like large items like non-vinyls so I did I don't remember what this little lizard dude's called but he's from Frozen and it's a clear sticker and Bennett loves him so I got three of those and then I also did get two of the sketchbook sorcerer Mickey hats so those are really cute I got one of each of the gingerbread Mickey which I feel like I should probably get an extra set of and then I did get three of these because I thought they were so cool I don't know where I'm going to put them because I feel like it needs to be somewhere ultra special but these are like they called them um sun catchers i think i don't know but they're like printed on like a hot not a hollow but like a prismy kind of paper i don't really know but i loved it i love rainbows i love disney i love things that sparkle so i had to pick up those then i do have a wax melt little box here from caviar dreams and this shop was mentioned to me by plana hannah who i love and i got in my first box and i was like yeah these are good like you know i think they're they're good melts and whatever and then whenever i melted them i was like oh they like real good so i went ahead and placed another order i think i actually have one more order on the way 
So my little samples here are coconut lemon s'more. I really need to do my nails soon. Mm, this one's really good. It oddly smells exactly with like what the name is, which I was kind of like, that's not gonna smell like that, but it does. And then the next one is pecan, pumpkin pecan waffles, which I actually have in my room right now. And it smells really, really good. I did pick up two of the Bedrock birthday cake. I think because I was like close to free shipping or something like that. So I just bought two of these cause I thought they smelled really good. So it's fruity, sugary cereal, buttery cake, frosting, creamed vanilla and maple sugar. I would, will say, I feel like their decorations are a little bit messy but like who actually cares? But this does smell really good. It does have that like fruity loops, fruity pebbles smell while having like a little bit more of like a vanilla cakey kind of smell. And it smells really good. It's it's definitely up there on one of my favorites. This one is called Bavarian, Bavarian, Bavarian Cream Donut. And I was mostly excited to kind of just smell what this smells like because Nick loves Boston cream type Bavarian cream donuts. It's a little bit light, but I, I just have a feeling that these, like, are going to just warm so good. Um, Trace Leche cake, which I love Trace Leche. Mmm, this smells so good. It doesn't... I mean, I guess, yeah, it does. It does smell like if I just put my nose in there. Which I don't really know what Trace Leche, like... What does it smell like? Oh, yeah, sweetened condensed milk, caramelized sugar, buttery vanilla cake frosting. <gasps> so good. I love anything with, like, a hint of caramel, and that does smell like Trace Leche. This one is blueberry pancakes Allen mode. Ripe, juicy blueberries, almond butter, creamy, butter, creamy vanilla ice cream. Mmm, this one smells so good, too. Sugared almonds, which you guys know I had to pick up because, like, I love almond scents. And this one is so good. It smells exactly like the lotion that I love. So I was really hyped about that. This one is um, berry pop tart, strawberry, raspberry, vanilla, butter, cocoa, whipped cream, and pastry dough. This one's super cute. This one does smell mm, fruity and I like it. This one is frosted festival cider. Super cute. I love this. It looks like little Starbucks cups, like little frappuccinos. And this smells exactly like like an apple -y fall scent and Nick smelled this one and he loved it. Mm, it's so good, so crisp. Um, and I also do love that the shop has like product like always available. Cause I remember this one I even placed like after these were released and there was still product available. And then I also placed an order again and there was still like everything available that had been released a couple of days earlier. It's nice to be able to like leisurely shop. So this is salted butterscotch apple strudel. It smells so good. Mm. This one's good. It's a little less like potent on the apple and a little bit more warm, which I like. Um, but I've come to like kind of appreciate the more like potent fruity scents because Nick likes them. Mm, this one smells uh, vanilla. This one smells vanilla, pumpkin, bonfire, smoky, burnt, cedarwood, creamy vanilla, fluffy marshmallow, and pumpkin pie spice. This one just smells like a fall fire to me. And I do like the decorations on this one. I think they're really pretty. This one is peanut butter and jelly cookie, which was, I always get like so up my nose, which I was most excited just to kind of see what this smells like. And it smells like something that I've had from like a Harry Potter, like scented something in the past. And then this one is pecan butter cookies, which is good. It's a little lighter, but again, I just feel like either the, the specifically from this like brand, I feel like the ones where I'm like, oh, this seems a little bit lighter when I warm it. It's really not light at all, which I love. I love a potent, a potent melt um, that lasts for forever. Um, and then last but not least, I wanted to try this out for you. So I've been using the Caress Press. I don't know if I have any anywhere near me. The Caress Press like whole reinforcements on my spreads. Do I have a spread near me? Here. I'm making a royal mess. Yeah, let me show you guys this one. So. I've been using these and I was like, there are some spreads that I don't have like a foil to match. I don't know if you can see them. So they reinforce the holes. Obviously like your holes get a little messed up in a ring planner, especially if you're using it for like a year, you know? So I've been using them, but I've had a problem where I'm like, okay, so whenever I'm using a, like a fun foil, I don't have a reinforcement that matches perfectly. So I was looking for alternatives and I found these. These are by Avery. They are a little bit wider than the Crest Press ones, but they still fit on the inserts like basically perfectly. Um, and they are clear and they're so inexpensive. I will link them down below, but they're just clear. So it's nice whenever you're trying to do a fun foil. And then while I was looking at that, let me find like an example I can use. 
I found this, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm kind of curious to see like how it works. So this is a whole reinforcement punch by We Are Memory Keepers, which I feel like they literally make everything. I know they make, sorry, I know they make like soap makers and like all kinds of weird stuff. So I was like, of course they do make this. So it's just a punch that makes a whole like a circle. So I was wondering like, you know, if for some reason I had like fun colored bougie boxes, I don't know. Um, could I make them in with like a little punch and be like super easy? So I'd have to kind of like figure out the like lining of this to make it the most ideal. But I think that it would be pretty easy because you can see in there and then you just hopefully this works. Mm, maybe it won't work. It was like a good idea. Oh yeah, it did work. Cool. So I wonder if this is the same hole size though. So it didn't cut the whole way through. I think I'm going to try sharpening it with um, aluminum foil, but as you can see, it did cut through. The only thing is, is this is going to take some willpower to take off. Oh wait, I'm doing this all wrong. I could just pull from this side. Let's try to do it one more. Try doing it fast. This was just an experiment. Let's see. I don't know where the circles go. They're probably inside of the thing. I feel like if I could get this off. Oh, there it is. There it is. There she is. There she is. Does anybody else have problems with this with like stickers? Because your nails are just like not happening. Here we go. Let me throw this away. Okay. So I did make myself a little reinforcement here. I feel like it's just not sharp enough for the sticker paper, but I wonder if it's the right size. Let me just like try it out. So I feel like with a little trial and error, this could work, but I'm gonna need to figure it out. Yeah, it would work perfectly. <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna try and like mess around with it more. I will leave a link down below in case you wanna try it out. I feel like it just needs maybe sharpened a little, which you can do with like aluminum foil. See, ready? One, two, three. Use all my muscles. Oh, cool. It came off the back. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. So let me show you guys what that looks like. So I feel like you have to do it kind of fast so it doesn't like crinkle the paper. Oh, that's cute. So that is something that you could like use if you had like bougie boxes. That's really pretty. I'll link it down below. But just know that my advice would be to try and sharpen it with aluminum foil and also to do it fast because I feel like that's also important. Let me just like put it in the middle. I have a lot of bougie boxes, it's fine. Oh wait, I wonder if I do it upside down. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm thinking my brain here, okay. I'm do it upside down. Okay. Oh yeah. There she is. Okay, cool. So if you do it upside down, it works a little bit better. Cool, 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 cool. So we have reinforcements. Cool. So that's like a little option and a little bit of a fun crafty situation. I'm going to like mess around with it and just find out its kinks because I know that this could work. I just got to figure it out. I do feel like the problem is, is there's like a little, um, like a pad in there, but I'm gonna figure it out. It's definitely an idea, but I will have a link down below. But that is everything for this little portion of the haul. Okay, I just filmed the last part of my, like that clip, I don't know. Um, but I got this in and I didn't really feel like letting it sit till like I have more stuff. So I wanna open it. So this is a cloth and paper subscription box. I am not the smartest. And I am subscribed to the B6, which I have like all the like good intentions of using, but never end up using. I'm actually right now using a pocket like pretty religiously, which is kind of crazy. It's right here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go into this. So this is a, which actually is like a pretty dirty, but I think like if I put it like on the wall, you won't notice as much. Um, but it says the more you love your decisions, the less you have to convince other people to love them. And this is like a little um, like art type print. And then there is a desk pad, which is super cute. It's undated, so you can use it whenever. 
There is the uh, reading log, which I do not read, but this could come in handy eventually. There is the December 2021 style, which I have for sure let all of these go to the waste over the past few months of being subscribed just because I feel like I've been waiting to like set up my planner and then I just never do. This is the digital declutter, which is actually super cute. I love this. I love all of their stuff. I think I am going to switch to the pocket subscription. I feel like I could really get a lot of use out of it. So I think once like this round, I think I prepaid maybe, I don't know. I'm going to sign up for the pocket because, you know, I'm a pocket person now. And then the December little cover, which you could totally save this and I can use with other things. This is a Stephen King quote, which is super cool. And then there's this here, which is just a really cute little dashboard. Old ways won't open up new doors. So true. A, another dashboard that's thicker, which is super cute. I just love how minimal everything is. And these are so pretty. These are like a really pretty like baby robin's egg blue color. Love those. So, so they got square ones and then circular ones and they are transparent, which mm, I have an idea for these. And then there's this little packet of stuff. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I love my pocket. I just love it so much. And I'm going to use some of this stuff in it. And then there's a little December card. There is May Your Streets Be Paved With Gold, Make It Simple But Make It Significant, and then a little super cute card. Everything is perfect. Also, I might use this like little card in my December daily because I'm for sure doing that this year, but that's everything from cloth and paper. It's like the best, like, I don't know. It's the best subscription. I just love it so much. I just think it's so good and well thought out. The designs are beautiful. I love the card that comes with it. I love watching cloth and paper stories on Instagram. I'm just a big fan. I think they have every size that I know of besides like A5 wide. But like if you're going to like do some functional planning, definitely check them out because like perfection. Okay, I have so much stuff here to show you guys. So let me go ahead and organize everything and I'll show you. So first things first, I did place an order for our simply gilded irene's shop and i went a little like overboard by like a little bit um but i have reasons so i don't think i'm doing it this year but next year i'm going to do a tree in my like little office and i am going to use these bows I don't know which ones I'm gonna use, but I think every year I might switch it up. And I just think they're so pretty. And not even just for ornaments, these would be beautiful as like gift tags and things to like decorate, putting them on your planner. So I have no regrets for buying three of them, um, three of each of them. I just think it's gonna be so pretty to do bows on the tree. Like, can you imagine like a pink and black bow tree or like a black and like the mint color or pink and mint or gold ooh, golden black I think golden black in a tree in my bedroom and then pink and mint in my office or like pink and gold or golden mint. any combo of these or even like these three or these three would be amazing on like a tree like I'm just imagining like a little skinny tree like maybe a skinny white tree That'd be so beautiful. So those are going directly into my Christmas bin for next year. There was also like a little Thanksgiving freebie along with some sticker freebies in there as well. I do have an order in from Wish Upon Magic. I just ordered two of the Main Street USA Mix um, little VH, not VHSs, <laughs> uh, cassette tapes. I do have an order in from Sadie Stickers. This was for the Christmas items i feel like she's like really doing crazy good on her shipping times like insane i feel like i just ordered this again so i did pick up these three so these are the like 15 millimeter strip of the christmas lights which i thought were really really cute and like that paired with a bow would be adorable and then the boxes again i thought these were adorable and then I got some of, I don't remember getting these, but maybe some of the um, headers. Those will look really cute on the sidebar in gold, silver, and hollow. And then these boxes. So I could use these basically with any spread because they're white, again, in gold, silver, and hollow. So that is my little Sadie Stickers haul. I do have some stuff in from Oso Paper. I have my subscription. I love Oso Paper. I just think their stuff's so cute. 
I love their girls. I love the like art style and I just think they're so pretty. So this, let me zoom you on a little bit. This is the coloring book. So this is kind of like a standard, like every month you get a coloring book, which is just so fun. Definitely a little relaxing activity. And I love the, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Color them however you want. And then there's always stickers. Let me show you guys. So cute. These colors are perfect. And then if you do order from her shop, I think this month you do get this is like a little freebie in your order. That sticker itself. You have some boxes. I think Theo might be waking up. You get a postcard every month. How about them apples? So cute. A magnet, which I always say they fit perfect on my Rascog cart. And then this is kind of like the... I usually don't know like what freebie it is so like I've gotten calendars sticker albums washies all kinds of stuff so this one has like a sticky note set so these are perfect I get ton of use out of these so this is a notepad it's not a sticky note and then these are sticky notes super cute I love when there's like lots of spaces to write and then there's just like a little page flag which are also sticky so I love that those are super useful I do have another order in from, I actually don't even remember what the shop name is, um, Sweet Clementine Soaps. So it's so funny because so, they actually ship so fast, first of all. Um, second of all, it's funny because I feel like y'all tell me that I influence some of your purchases by my hauls, which I totally get because like, you know, I watch hauls and I buy things, but sometimes like I can convince myself to buy things because I was filming, oh, I was editing my haul that included their shop and I was like I should see if they have anything new and like order and like I stopped editing my haul to place an order so I did pick up some of their Christmas releases so I wasn't really sure like how I would like all the different scents some of these like I don't think I'd want in like body products so they did have wax melts um so I was like well you know I'll use wax melts especially Christmas ones so they are like the kind of like the scentsy like clamshell this one is called Gingerbread Cookies, and it smells so good. All of theirs are white. The one's, like, a little bit yellowy, but I don't know if that's, like, the oil has a tint or what. But this is Gingerbread Cookie. It smells so good. And then there is Cocoa and Cream, which the Gingerbread Cookie doesn't really smell, like, super sweet. It's just, like, hecka spicy, which I like. This one is Cocoa and Cream. It smells like that really typical, like, artificial chocolate, but it's not as bad as normal, if that makes sense. Uh, Snowman Smooches. Mm, this one smells so good. It kind of smells like a man, but like a little bit of mint underneath, like an icy man, like an icy sexy man. And then there is pink evergreen. I think they have maybe scent descriptions on the website. This one smells so good. It does. It's so weird because it smells like if you got a perfume that had like a little bit of that like balsam smell. You know what I mean? Like, it smells like a perfume version. Like, a little bit, like, of a flirty Christmas. I'm here for it. Then there's Christmas Bliss, which doesn't... I wish they did, like, just a straight, like, balsam. But I also don't know if they, like, people would want that as, like, a body wash. But I would. This one is a little, like... It's a little, like, evergreen, light, smoky. A little, like, of the berries. Like, holly berry, holly berries Christmas spice kind of smell I like that one a lot and I did get that one in the soap and the um body body lotion and this one is intense it's called peppermint swirl and it just smells like straight like peppermint but like a peppermint vanilla like what you'd want to smell like not just straight peppermint but it has that vanilla undertone as well so I think it's quite nice and I think it'll be a nice scent to like have a mix up you know something that like you know I'm gonna be burning like basically Christmas tree the rest of till January through January let's be real maybe even through February we'll see so I did get Christmas bliss in both the body wash and bubble bath and the um lotion I kind of wish I would have gotten the pink evergreen because I kind of like it better um but I still really like this one a lot so I'm definitely going to use it I just might go back for the pink evergreen as well um, I have used up quite a bit of my Fruity Loops one, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. And then the little freebie was the Hand and Body Sugar Scrub in Christmas Bliss. And this one's cute because it's red. And then the last shop, so I saved the ones that I haven't ordered from before. This one is from 
Krista plans and sews and she wrote me a really cute note and she said she added an extra for Bennett. So she makes face masks and I was like, yeah, I need to order. So she had Christmas ones, which I thought were really, really cute. They come with the little like nose bridges. There's extra ones in here. I thought it was cute because they got my little seal there. Um, so this one is adorable. Bennett's going to love this. It has like um, aliens and robots and um, planets and it's super cute. Looks super comfy. And then this one here, I'm going to probably start wearing like ASAP because I don't have any Christmas face masks and this one is adorable and they do already have the nose things in them so I think they're just extras so there's also like washing instructions but this is gonna look so cute I let me see and it's gonna be a good fit as well in perfect timing because Theo is awake so I will leave all of these shops linked down below and I'll be right back with my next haul bit hey guys it's Andrea and I have a bunch hey guys it's Andrea. I feel like I'm like always starting a haul as if like it's the beginning of a haul, so it's the beginning of a haul for me, but you know, here we are. So I do have some stuff from Nerdy Wax. I actually like got three big wax melt like purchases all together and I just like took all of the worms out. There was worms and peanuts literally everywhere and put them all in one box. So this is all wax melt. So I did get an order in from Nerdy Wax. There was like some little Mandalorian flavored fruit snacks and then this was the little freebie, I think. I think so. Or wait, was there another one? I think there was this too. This smells really good. It smells like honey, maybe. Honey and something else. And then this one doesn't have a name either. Mm, it smells oh it's um I think it's the Erica G designs ones the lemon um, it looks maybe like an oops like a it was like the lemon cake it smells so good I have um did I ordered two of these I think I did maybe um I ordered a bunch of those they smell so good that and the blueberry one with the cat on the logo that was a good one as well so let's go ahead and open these so I think I did just pick up two of these maybe, and they're Christmas ones. I need to reorganize my scents. Um, so I'm not gonna open the other one, but know that it's the same in this packet, in the both packages. So the first one here is first gift of Christmas, cedar wood and fir tree lined with white snow. Oh, that's a cute little jingle bell. I definitely smell the cedar wood and a little bit of that like balsam smell. So I cannot wait to burn that. And then there is hot chocolate, warm hot chocolate, marshmallows, and whipped topping. Very, very like artificial chocolate smelling, which is not my favorite. I think I like the artificial chocolate smelling if they mix a little bit of maybe vanilla in with it. Ooh, this one smells good. The Polar Express Cinnamon Spiced Apples and Sweet Berries. Mm, this one smells really good. And then last but not least, North Pole, which is clove, nutmeg, and pine trees. And that one smells really good, too. It kind of reminds me of a Yankee Candles, like, scent that I've smelled before. So that is the little, I think it was, I don't actually remember. I think it might have been, like, maybe a Polar Express-themed bundle. I'm not entirely sure. I just went on and was like, Christmas scents, I'm going to buy those. I did get another order in from Caviar Dreams. Is that what it's called? Caviar Dreams? um so there's a lot of stuff so this one um came with like a little note which was super cute it said like watch out for christmas scents which you know that i'm always watching out for that this was the freebie it's saturday morning cartoons which i'm assuming is cereal scented there's like stuff everywhere mm, mm, that's potent that's gonna be so good it's definitely just like a fruit loop um there's oatmeal cream pie mm, this one smells so good like maybe one of my top scents it's really spicy but has that like oatmeal kind of like I don't know if it's like brown sugar smell mm, smells so good I love these like cups I think they look so cute this one is deep fried Twinkies so it says golden sponge cake vanilla cream butter deep fried pastry and powdered sugar mm, mm. it actually smells like yellow cake to me and I love the next one is apple butter honey biscuits, spice apple butter, golden honey, warm fresh baked biscuits. I love biscuits. This one's good. It definitely has a lot of like the spice in it, but I mean, I 
don't mind lots of spice french quarter beignet uh sweet fried pastry dough confectionery sugar and vanilla oh i love this color combo that does smell really good it's definitely one of the ones that you have to really stick your nose in but it does smell really good and then this one is sugared cannoli that's cute this is another one you really have to stick your nose into it does smell like cannoli cream, but I don't know if that's my favorite thing in the world, but it's okay. I always feel like my nose is going to have heck of glitter after opening all these. There's more in this, like, little pouch. I don't know. Oh, I think this might have been a bundle. I don't remember. Does it say? There's something I smell that I don't like. I can tell already. Thanksgiving favorites. So the first one here is apple pie a la mode. I feel like I need to smell something like completely different or like smell my shirt or something. Okay. Yeah. That smells really good. It smells like apple pie, like that apple scent. It's a little on the lighter side, but I do feel like with these ones, I like them like, oh, that's kind of lighter. But then when I warm it, it's like pretty potent, which is wild. This one is honey butter cornbread. Oh God, I love cornbread. Oh my God. That smells just like cornbread. Oh my God. I want cornbread so bad right now. Caramel pumpkin cheesecake, creamy decadent cheesecake pumpkin, spice and gooey caramel. Oh my god. That one's good too. Definitely get the like cheesecake smell in there along with like all of the pumpkin spice and caramel. Praline pecan cobbler, which sounds amazing. Oh my god, this is good. It, it has like almost like a, per not a perfume, but like a cologne scent. So it says gooey caramel cobbler, roasted maple, pecans and bubbly cinnamon sugar. Mm, it's good. It's it's different because it's not as heavy on the spice, I don't think, but I really like that. And then this one is um, Southern Candy Yam. Sweet potatoes, warm brown sugar, nutmeg, maple, vanilla bean, and cinnamon. I'm nervous because when I opened that bag, something didn't smell great. I knew, it was, I knew the scent, but I didn't know, so I don't know if it's this one. Yeah. You know, it really does smell like sweet potatoes, and I don't know if I want my house to smell like sweet potatoes, but, like, if you like the smell of sweet potatoes, that's for you. I, but, like, there might be people who do because I really am a fan, like, when I'm making chicken noodle soup and I'm cutting up carrots, onions, and celery, I love the way, like, my hands smell. Weird fact, I know, but I love the way my hands smell after I'm cutting those three vegetables in particular. It's just, like, that, like, I don't know, it's, like, a smell, like a, like a chicken soup smell. Um, but that, like, is a really, like, I don't know. Let me smell it again. Yeah, I'm going to go out on lemon and say I'm not a fan. It does smell exactly like what it says it is, though, which is kind of wild. Um, I kind of wish there was, like, a mashed potato scented candle because now I'm, like, curious. Like, I kind of want, like, an April Fool's Day version of, like, a wax melt bundle where it's, like, LOL scents. Like, oh, you you, you wanted a ketchup scented wax melt? Somebody go on that, please, because I will buy it just to, like review it and probably probably warm them as well so this is my order from villainous wax we got my invoice in there we got the little journaling card we got a sticker um business card don't need those so i did place an order for some new items as well as some extras from the advent i did get the advent it was in one of my hauls i think it was in the end of one of my hauls if you want to go look for it it's probably like two or three hauls back Mm, but it was good. What is this? <laughs> LOL. It's coffee. Pumpkin spice latte. I just smell mostly like a pumpkin coffee. Yeah, to me it smells like pumpkin coffee with a little bit of like a, a roasted like cinnamon on top. It smells good. That'll be really nice in like the kitchen. So I had two favorite scents. I hope these were right. I, I kind of like skimmed back in my like Thing. they like fill these so high that like the top's like bubbling um I went back and like tried to look and see and I don't remember if either of these are oops I actually there's something in my invoice huh um which please are oops and then these ones the oops were sold out so I thought they were going so the oops were two dollars and then the um regular ones are 250 and then these big mac daddy ones are five good grief what did I order I ordered two of these best i don't see this one on the thing you around you around best friend i don't know what i ordered four four 
two of the good grief. What is this? Christmas is here. Good grief Halloween. Oh, it's a duo. These are a duo. And then Crundedun. Oh, you only okay, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna try. That's why I don't look at invoices because I don't honestly know. So Anyways, so the advent, I really loved these two scents, Grim Grinning Ghosts and Witch Please. So I bought extras. And I was definitely not there at like opening and there was still a ton, not a ton because the oops of these guys were sold out, but there was still quite a bit left. Yeah, so this one is sweet candy corn popcorn, chunks of molasses cookies tossed in caramel, which honestly sounds like something good enough to eat. It smells so good. And I also really just love Grim Grinning Ghosts because it reminds me of Haunted Mansion. So we have four of those. And then you get four of which, please. Which is um, poisonous blueberry pie, pumpkin puree, ginger shavings, and French vanilla cream. Which actually, if you would have read that to me. Yeah, that's really good. If you would have read that to me, I don't think I would have been like, oh my god, yes. But it just smells so good. So I got four of those. And then I did get these ones which are new. I don't know. If, actually, I don't know if this one's new. But I think these are new. So this is, um, I don't even know. Like, I don't know what this is a reference to. I'm probably just, like, very uneducated. So fur, so cron, not done. I don't know. Fur trees, magical stones, winter berries, and peppermint, peppermint twist. Ow, God. I just whacked myself in the face with that. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. I don't think I've ever smelled like an evergreen kind of fir tree scent mixed with peppermint and that little bit of berries. It really is reading a lot of the fir trees and the peppermint, but I feel like I get a hint of the berry and it's like really good. It's like almost refreshing. Is that weird? But I think next time I really like that one. This one's called Best Friend, freshly baked butter donuts with a sugar lemon glaze i think i bought this from like some kind of drop down mm. Mm, this is so good so it smells like a donut but it's definitely more of a buttery a buttery a, a very buttery donut like a it's it's not just like fried dough it's more of like a buttery donut does that even make sense it smells really good. I am into it. And then last but not least is Christmas time is here. Fir tree, apple cider, cinnamon, and pumpkin bread. Oh, God, I'm excited. Oh, God, yeah. She good. She good. And it's so crazy, like, how different these scents are, even though, like, the big, like, note of them are both that, like, fir tree scent. Mmm. This one smells, like, a little bit more, like, a fruity, a fruity fir tree with, like, a lot of spice spice but not really I don't know that's really good this one reminds me of something in my past but that's all the wax melts and I just have a problem and I'm just can't stop phone stop so here we are okay so I'm here for another haul bit I literally like cleaned off my whole desk because I thought that like it was silent so if you can hear like Bennett or like anyone in the background I apologize but I like went through the effort of like cleaning off my desk clearing off my memory card setting this all up and then I heard Bennett and I was like well today's the day we're gonna do it though no one has ever been like you know there's a kid screaming in your background my kids have loud voices okay but you know I'm always worried someday somebody's gonna be mad about it so first things first is I do have an order from Wish Upon Magic I love this gingerbread house I think it's so cute and I also did pick up these little snow Mickey and Minis. I thought that those were adorable. I thought I had more, but I don't know. Um, I also placed an order from this shop that I have never shopped from before, and Nick thought these were even cool. So I was, I was waiting for him to be like, did you need those? And me to be like, yeah. But this is from, is this it? Or is this the card for the other one? I don't know if actually this, no, this one didn't come with a card. So I'm gonna have to leave the shop link down below. But they are the cutest little, like, painted wooden Mickey heads. And they have so many, like, different little, like, they're for, like, tiered trays. <laughs> and Nick was like, wait, what are you doing with this? And I'm like, you just wait. I'm not going to use them this year, but I'm going to use them next year. And I just think they're so cute. And they're really well done. Even Nick was, like, pretty impressed with, like, the paint jobs on them. And he's like, oh, that would be such a cute activity for Bennett to do one day if we could get some, like, 
wooden Mickey heads, which I think you can actually buy, not from this shop, but you can buy like wooden Mickey heads on Etsy, like to paint. I even saw like, um, like a rainbow that had something to do with Mickey. I don't know if it, like the top had Mickey related. I don't know, but it was really, really cute. Um, so the next one here is from another shop that I've never shot from before and it's called Me and Mary Katie Maladrino Watercolor Artist. I'm trying to see if anybody's calling me. No, I don't think so. Anyways, I wanted to get a menu pad because especially at the, oh, that's cute. At the time that I bought this, I was like hardcore into dieting. Right now I'm just kind of like taking a break-ish, but like still like not taking a break. I don't know. I'm trying to like eat healthy, but like kind of relax a little bit because I feel like it was a little stressing me out um, and like negatively affecting me otherwise. So I'm just kind of trying to not go as hard in ham, but this will be really helpful. So I wanted a like just an easy, quick little menu pad that was just like enough room to write the dinners because we don't really plan lunches or breakfast. Just we just eat like whatever we feel like. Um, like eggs or whatever and then usually I try and cook like every three days I try and cook a meal that I could eat for three days for lunches and I make extra portions um, which my favorite right now to do that is chicken noodle soup and beef and broccoli well not beef and broccoli use chicken but anyways yeah I love this I think it's super cute really high quality and like the perfect size to be able to write and then just like put it on a magnet and put it on my fridge and I like to save them too so that whenever I'm looking for like meal ideas I could roll back and see kind of what I've ate over the past few weeks so then my next order is from Sadie stickers this is a foil Christmas order so I did buy some of the sheets here and now there's Ah, uh, it drives me nuts. Okay, so I did buy some of these. So there is the Ho Ho Ho, which I thought was so cute to put in the sidebar. So I did buy those in gold, silver, and hollow. And then I also did buy this one in silver. So this says, all is calm, all is bright, tis the season, joy to the world. I bought this one in silver, which has holiday wishes, mistletoe kisses, silent night, and holy night. And then I also did buy this in all three foils because these are elf quotes and I love elf. And I wouldn't just use this just in an elf like themed spread i would use it in any christmas spread i did also place an order with adorably amy designs and y'all know i love to shop so i will leave all these shops linked down below like i said so first things first is there was the freebie and then there is also a pr freebie this is carla's sampler you can use the car the code carla 15 um for that one and I think there's a bunch of PR girls and I'm pretty sure that they post them on their Instagram so I did place an order from for a bunch of tiny texts I think tiny texts are perfect for little things and I love marking some specific things as little things with like little icons especially my new mini icons and they aren't necessarily things that I would normally put in my planner just because I don't want to use like a huge box or like basically have to write it or I don't know, come up with a giant character. But these are all things that I think are little thing worthy. She opens these or yeah, well, she opens these um, probably once a month or maybe once every three weeks, maybe once every two weeks. Honestly, time flies. But um, she opens up spots and it's usually about 12, 12, 12 24 hours ish or a weekend and I ordered a bunch of them. Um, I think this was the one that me and Jess were trying to, Kit and Jess were trying to figure out like what foils we should do and I think it was actually a couple days then because I think Jess ordered before me. So I did buy a bunch of stuff that I wanted in black. I also did pick up by Amy's recommendation. She, I messaged her on um, Instagram about like, hold on, let me see if I can show you with my phone flashlight. Um, yeah, okay, I can tell you, show you the difference here. So I messaged her on Instagram. I was like, hey, like what's the closest to black? Because I noticed she didn't have a black. And she said to get the black metallic. And then she said that her personal favorite is, I think it's the shattered black, but I'll definitely double check. Can you see it without it? I don't think so. There's my phone. Can you see the difference? So the top is the black metallic. So there's no sparkle. And then underneath is the um, black, I think it was black shattered or something. I'll leave it down below if I don't, leave it let me know in the comments but I thought that that would be kind of cool 
first I bought it in some of the ones that I use more often. I'm not gonna be able to tell you which ones I bought in which. You'll see if I bought two of them, that means that I bought them, one of them in the like shattered. I feel like you can't see it really in this lighting, but like in normal lighting, not studio lighting, you can see the difference and it would look really cool with like sparkly hollow or sparkly like foils and mix in the sparkly black. I think that'd be really, really cool. So the first one here I got is listings, print labels, unpack, pack, tidy up, target curbside, superstore. So I wanted to, I'm probably gonna start picking up like as shows come back, I'll just start picking up um, I usually know like a good month ahead of time. I'll pick up a sheet of the show name 90 day listings on track print labels print labels. So one of those is probably the sparkly one on track Which I haven't been bake Decorate walk with boys in-laws over dinner at in-laws December daily 90 day be at in-laws online spree film which you get so many whenever they're really small word design do nails because I have a lot of paint nails, but I'm not really painting my nails right now. It's more of like doing my nails. I do those like sticker gel things, film, design, and more do nails. So I love these. Again, I think they fit perfectly on little things, especially with a little mini foiled icon from my shop, like the collab ones with Once More Love. I think these are going to be perfect. Well, I know they are because I have other ones, but those were a custom order. Um, I think the rest of the stuff is from um, No White Space Stickers, which this is my final of the, I don't know if it was PBC, I don't, I don't even remember, I can't keep track. Orders, not proud of it. I feel like I went a little overboard. Yeah. I don't know, I really love Tabitha stuff. I think it's super cute. I'm just a big Disney fan, and I feel like because she does, like, all Disney stuff, I'm like super here for it. So here is the little journaling card. And then I did get a bunch of little like freebie circle stickers, which are so cute. I think I'm doing a Disney setup next year. I actually have this washi card. I don't remember where I put, oh, it's all over there. I think I'm gonna be using the new, newer 30, is 35 millimeter? I don't remember, the newer size rings, the blue, and doing like a Disney setup for 2021. And I'm using this card in the pocket and it honestly looks beautiful because I feel like it, the colors really match. So definitely we'll use those. I did pick up all four, five of the like mini kits and you're probably like, Andrea, you don't use this size kit. I know, but like, what if one day I do? Please explain to me then, what do I do? So it comes with like, each kit comes with different stuff. Honestly, let's just make this like this really long. I heard Ben and go outside, so. Um, let's go for it. So this is like a double box, right? Or I guess you could use, oh, is it a double box? Yeah, it's a double box, but you could also just use it as like a sticker. And this is supposed to be like a doormat. And this is like Haunted Mansion Home, which I know Tabitha has the cutest. It's like a restoration hardware, um, what's it called? A bookshelf. And it has all Haunted Mansion stuff on it with like other like spooky-ish looking stuff. And it's so cute, such a vibe. And Nick loves Haunted Mansion. So you get a bunch of full boxes. These are actually smaller than a full box. Actually, I think they're like B6 boxes, but whatever. You have some um, date, date header things, half boxes, things, check boxes, you know, the works. So like you might be asking me, what are you gonna do with these? And the answer is, I don't know. They're on premium mat. They aren't foiled or anything, but I am so pumped. I just, I don't know. And I love whenever she does like unlimited stock so you don't have to like rush. So this one came with the four full boxes, like shorter ones. This little, um, I think I have this, but no, maybe not. I don't know. Um, a duh, big box thing, a header or date covers. Why can I not like remember the names of any of these? Anyway, so I might, I don't know. I'm going to use these someday for something, but like right now I don't know. But I don't want to not have them later because that's annoying. So here we are. This one's super cute. It gives me like Jessica vibes with these colors. Adorable. I think that these might be like mystery. I don't know. Honestly, I just kind of bought everything. I was like, buy all, buy all today. Oh, we need to poo. We need to poo. I would really love to use these in my pocket somehow without like really overly decorating my pocket. But I feel like if I, oh my God, these are so cute. I feel like if I use stickers in my pocket, I'm going to want to like save my pocket, which I don't mind because like, I use my pocket like without a doubt every day 
but I need inspo. Oh my gosh, Duffy and Friends. This is the cutest thing. I want like 12 of these. Oh, they're so cute. Like, I honestly see myself using these in a pocket. I really want a good like pocket daily spread because I use my pocket. I write lists all day long. I've been really like focused. Let me do both of these first. I mean, I can incorporate these into my um, A5 wide. These are Ginormo stickers, which I love. I don't really like the check boxes, but I'm just going to cut them off. You got like the Epcot and then the monorails. I think I bought all of them. I'm not sure, but um, you could also just like frame these. I feel like I would love it if Tabitha just did like also like prints because I would for sure buy like prints like eight and a half by 11 or like whatever. Let's go through this last. I would buy like whatever. I honestly, I'll buy whatever she comes out with. It really doesn't matter. So like just keep it rolling. So then this one was a Space Mountain little combo pack and like Space Mountain's my favorite ride so I had to get it. So there's still, like some header overlays which or just washi which I don't really care about too much but just it was just it was it needed to be in my life. Is this clear? Yeah it's clear. Oh that's cute. Um, Space Mountain pass, fast pass, return anytime sticker. A little Space Mountain kind of like Halloween badge. Ooh that's cute. Oh, you can hear the dogs again. And then a little Space Mountain pass on like a little washi card, which is just adorable. I needed to get it because I love Space Mountain. I did get these, which I honestly am not going to unroll. I bought, it looks like a gold star and then like a sparkly hollow washi tape overlay thing. I don't know, but I bought those. You can go on her Instagram and see all the stuff. And then I bought these, which are like all vinyls, which is embarrassing. I think my cart was like an obscene amount. Maybe I'm like the most I've ever spent on a planner shop. Um, also adorably Amy designs. That was one of the, like one of the, my first order that I placed with her shop, I think was one of my largest planner orders also ever. Um, but this one also was quite big too, like, like kind of embarrassing, but I'm like the kind of person and I feel like you guys might be able to relate to this because it goes back to my childhood. Um, but takes me back to my childhood of like not putting stickers down because I have like, uh, like I'm going to regret it and then I'm going to have FOMO and then I'm not going to have it for later to stick on something else. So, um, yeah, I just bought some of them like singles, right? That I were like, these are cute. But then the ones I was like, oh my God, I'm dead. I bought two of, so this one, obviously I was like ultra dead. So I bought four of them and then there's this like, a popcorn bucket which is super cute and I loved these ones so again I was super dead because I bought three and again I bought three of those so this one's super cute because it's glittery and then you have the poo ones I feel like these feel a little bit different but I'm not sure what's different about them they don't feel like the the vinyl like the matte vinyls they feel like more like a glossy vinyl which is like totally fine oh they're clear Okay, just shut up, Andrea. So that's probably why they feel different. So then you have these, which are like the Skyliner, right? And like, uh, I'm dead. And then you have the little Hollywood Studios entrance. You have the Jungle Cruise ship. You have these super cute Mickey balloons. Again, I was definitely dead on that one. So stinking cute. The Epcot, more balloons. It was dead. Um little hats with the hollow the uh candy castle the, the beetle thing this is so cute the booty you halloween parade the little um sticker version of that <gasps> these are so cute and i love these i love how like these look just so like there's something about them that reminds me of like kind of like not punk but like a little bit i don't know you know what i mean you know what i mean i think you know what i mean and then you have the up house the little poo honey pots the piglet honey pot so cute the star wars skyliner the club 33 that's so cute i love everything i think i bought like all of them or most of them and then like i said some duplicates maybe i don't know i bought a lot of stuff but i have no regrets one day i'm gonna have to do like some kind of vinyl organization because like i honestly at this point wouldn't be surprised if i had a thousand plus vinyls but i love that she sends them in these bags so i could just slip them in and then store them because I store them in these bags and then I just like oh okay I have more vinyls over here we're just gonna throw them in the bag and then I'm just set with all my vinyls in a bag and I'll even put these guys in the bag 
and then one day I'll organize them, but that's not today. So that's the end of this portion of the haul.